I want you to check out my little leader there, my little rig. My little regular five odd hook there. I actually have a clamp on there this time. Fluorocarbon leader, a little worm sinker, clamp at the top. That's what we're working with. So Carolina rig style because it slides, but nice and compact. I think that helps me get those hangs loose. talking to a guy yesterday and uh, he saw the about 22 inch sheep's head that I caught yesterday and uh, he asked him he asked me if I got him on this little rod right here there was a tug right there he asked me if I got it on this little rod right here I told him yes and I'll tell you what I told him I think one of the tricks to sheep's head fishing is having as light a rod and reel combo as possible. It's almost like you want to be fishing on air, if there is such a thing. Almost like fishing with your hands in a line. But of course you want the hook set capability of the rod and all of that. So the lighter, the better. I think that's what I'm learning. And uh, I have this 4,000 on here. Um, and I think if I'm lucky, Father's Day, Dick Sporting Goods should probably have a nice sale for me. Because I want to actually get a 3,000. So I want to go down and be even a little bit lighter than this. Um, so stay tuned for that. So the lighter the combo, the better. And uh, this is a um, you know pretty a lot of graphite in this rod, so it's light. And then of course this is a 4,000, it's light. But the 3,000 is going to be that much lighter, so I'll have that much more sensitivity. And I also have fire line on here. You know that's a very sensitive line, so um, I think this is a good combination. So that's my tip of the day. I think another thing that I've noticed on a couple of my uh, recent trips is that. I can be out there fishing or out here fishing for an hour and the tide's going one way and then it'll slack and then it'll start moving the other way and then all of a sudden, bang, I may catch two fish real quick. So sometimes being right there at the tide change might increase your luck as well. I haven't proven that yet, but it's one of those scenarios today. The tides right now is coming in, but it's almost slack and it's going to start going back out. So um, we're going to see. We're going to see if something happens. And also, when you go to retrieve your line, when you're fishing in a rocky spot and you know it's rocky, take your time. Try to lift your uh, your rod tip as high as you can before you start retrieving, and uh, that might keep you out of a snaggy type of situation. Okay, I'm not a huge basketball fan, but uh, but I've caught a few of these games here in the NBA Finals, so uh, I'm wondering if we have any Game Seven predictions. Hit me down in the comment box. Got 11. A little patience goes a long way, huh? There he is. Found him. right at the tide turn so I'm not gonna call that a proof just yet but we were talking about it weren't we nice fish we'll get him in 
into our bag. January time frame. I was on the puffer heavy. He's a little guy, so I'm gonna let him go back. So he'll be bigger when I come back and get him in the winter. Alright, if you like this video, let me get a thumbs up, way up. If you haven't already subscribed.